One of the nice features about the calendar is that you can schedule and keep track of your appointments. And I want to schedule an appointment with Mr. Humphreys, a lunch that is. Let's see, today's date is March the 6th, as indicated by that thin green line. And I want to do it just before St. Patty's Day, so I'm going to do it Friday, March the 16th. To schedule the appointment, I can do it one of many ways. I can either come up here on the Home tab to the New Group and click on New Appointment. And up at the top on the tab, it says Appointment. And then type in the subject, Location. And if you don't type in a location, that's okay. It's not going to freak out. And then down below, the start and end dates and times. Well, it's, the default is today's day. I can go ahead and click on the date picker and choose Friday, March the 16th. But let's go ahead and close out of here because there's more than one way to schedule an appointment. Another way is to go ahead and hold down the control key and hit the N key as in new, and that will create a new appointment. Or you can also double click really fast on the day that you want to create that appointment. If I double click on it really fast, notice up here at the top it's not an appointment, it's an event. What's an event? Well, it's checked right here, it's an all day thing. And I don't want to have an all day lunch, that's too much. And so if you just go ahead and uncheck it, it opens up the time slots so you can choose the time so it's not an all day thing and it goes from an event to an appointment. So it's a shortcut in a manner of speaking. I mean, once it opens up, you have to uncheck it so you can go to the appointment part, not an all-day event. And we'll talk about an all-day event in a later training video. So there you go, you can do it that way, close out. I'm not gonna save it. If you click on it in the month view and the cursor's flashing on that day, don't type in anything because that's a shortcut for creating an event, and we don't wanna do that. So to get back out of it, just click on the X, or you can hit the Escape key to come back out of it. And then finally, you can right-click on the day, and huh, just so many ways to create appointments. Just crazy. You can also, well, there's an all-day event, but we want a new appointment. Left-click on it, and here we go. The subject is going to be a, a lunch with Mr. Humphreys. The location, you don't have to type in a location. That's all right. I will. It's going to be the roof. And you can type in an address, whatever fits your description of a location. And the roof is a tasty all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm. And then we've got our start and end dates and times. So it's going to be the same day. And then for the start time, it's not going to be early in the morning. It's going to be a lunch. So I can go ahead and scroll down and choose 12 p.m. And then the end time for the same day, you can see it's in half-hour increments. So if I go to 12.30, that's 30 minutes out from the start time. An hour out is going to be 1 p.m. If I chose 1 p.m. and I'm like, you know, I'm very particular. It's going to be 101. How do you change that? Click in there so you can see the cursor flashing in the field. Hit the delete key, type in 1, hit enter, and there you go. My lunch is now 1 hour and 1 minute long. Hey, that's just the way I roll. And technically, you could say, well, it's going to end, not on this date, it's going to end, let's see, Saturday the 17th. So if you do that, what you're saying is that I'm going to start eating Friday at noon and continue throughout to midnight and up to Saturday morning until the afternoon at 1.01 p.m. Oh, that's just crazy. Let's go ahead and change it back to the 16th so we can keep it on the same day just for an hour and one minute. And then down below, you've got the notes field where you can go ahead and type in a note that's pertinent to the meeting. Be sure to bring my member's card for a discount. Now, not only can you type in notes, but you can also come up here and click on the insert tab and attach a file, outlook item like an email message, a task, a card, well, there's a business card. You can also insert a table, pictures, online picture shapes, smart art. You can do a lot of things down below, but I'm gonna keep it simple there. You can also format the text, you know, select the text and we gotta focus on the discount and then go back to the appointment here. And then finally over here in the options group, you can have a reminder. Now 15 minutes right before I have the meeting is not much of a reminder. And how's that reminder gonna work? Well, it's gonna have a pop-up window that's gonna go bong if you have your speakers turned on so you can hear it. And I'm not gonna do 15 minutes because by then it's too late. I may be so involved into something, I'm like, oh, 15 minutes, it doesn't give me the time to drive there. So you can go ahead and choose some other time or just none if you don't want that pop-up. And you can go out to two weeks out. Or if you want to change that, again, click in the field. And you can do three weeks out and hit enter. And so let me show you what it looks like because this is the 16th and today's the 6th. So since it's only a few weeks, not three weeks out, well, less than two weeks, then I should get a pop-up when I click save and close. Wait for it. 
there you go, you get the bong, and, well, we got nine days before we've got this lunch. Now, keep in mind, you got to have Outlook open to get this pop-up, so if you have it closed, you're not going to get it until you open it back up, so it's a good idea that if you want reminders, you minimize, if you don't want Outlook opened up or in the way, minimize Outlook down to the taskbar, do your work, and it will actually give you the pop-up right in front of you here, so that way you can't miss it, and then you can go back to Restore Outlook, and, oh, where's my pop-up? Let me go ahead and click on that button to bring up its corresponding window, and you can see the details there. And then down below, if you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Can you remind me in about 15 minutes or a half hour, hit the snooze button, and then it'll pop up again. Or you can go ahead and dismiss it, in which case it clears the reminder. Or you can dismiss all, meaning that if you have more than one reminder for today, not just with Mr. Humphreys, but other Outlook items that have reminders or follow-ups, you can dismiss them all. So let's go ahead and dismiss that one, and away it goes. And so you can see it's right there. If you want to edit it, you can double-click on it to open it up. And you can see the reminder is set to none because I dismissed it, so it had to clear it out. So we didn't keep getting that annoying bong pop-up. So you can go ahead and make any changes you want in case if you need to reschedule. Go ahead and click and choose a different, well, day. Maybe it's going to be the 23rd. In any case, I'll go ahead and click off. And then when you're done, go ahead and be sure to save your work, save and close out of it. You can also delete it. Let me click save and close. Another way to go ahead and reschedule is you can actually click on it and drag it. And it's automatically rescheduled. Double click, open it up, and now it's the 23rd. Let me go ahead and close out, and I'll go back to the 16th. You can also, well, hover over it and get the pop-up there. You can right-click on it and do a quick print and some of the other options, even categorize it. I'm going to go ahead and click off. And let's see what it looks like in the other views. Come up here, click on the View tab, and look at it by day. And there's Lunch with Mr. Humphreys. And you can also do it here. If you want to move it around, you can click and drag him and say, okay, let's do it from 11 to 12. Now, is that going to be 12 or 1201? Let's hover off, hover back over it, and let's double-click. And 1201, of course, you saw it in the pop-up, but I was just eager to double-click on it. In any case, you can also hover over the bottom. Well, that's the resizing handle, so if you want to go down and extend the lunch from 11 to, well, that's 1201, but click and drop it down, and then hover off, hover back over it. You can see in the pop-up it's now 1230, so that little one increment for that extra minute, it's now gone. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag that back up and pull this back down and do it again from 12 to 1. Of course, it's not going to remember the 01, but you know how to fix it. Just double click and type in that extra minute there in the end time field or in the start time, just however you want to customize it. And then notice over here in the date navigator, now you can see it, it's in bold on the 16th. That means I got an appointment or meeting scheduled that day. So when I want to schedule other appointments or meetings, I'm looking for a free date, I can quickly glance here and go, well, I've got something on that day. I don't know what time until I actually select it and then go, oh, yeah, it's from 12 to 1. Groovy. So that's for the day, work week. And you can see in there, that's how it looks in the work week, then the week, right there. And then, of course, we're back to the month. Finally, remember when you click inside and you get the cursor flashing and you type in what you think is an appointment, that would be an event, right? You hit enter, there you go. When you double click on it, it's checked, all day event, and it's an event, right? Okay. So what would happen with the selected, let me go ahead and hit the delete key and get rid of it. If we go back to the week and I double click on a day there, is it an appointment or an event? Well, in the other views, it's going to be an appointment. So you can do it that way, as well as in the work week and in the day. And also, if you actually just want to highlight a time slot and then just start typing, that's going to be the name of your appointment after you hit enter to accept it. And you can see that that's for that time. And that makes sense because it's at a time. I didn't select the entire day, so it's not going to be an all-day event. So when you double-click, you can see it's an appointment for the time slot that I had selected. And then, well... Let me go ahead and just, since I'm here, delete it, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.